Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and this is another t another game maker tutorial as part of the random trick series. Today we're gonna learn how to resize window. This is like um, a fairly handy trick because this way um, you can run it the game on any resolution. It'll still look cool. So first off, let's create a background because because with the background we'll be able to uh, see our results better. So just call it back. Made a little background especially for this. For the random background. And um, now let's create an object. Let's call it OBJ resize. You won't be able to see this object. This, this object's only purpose is to control the size of the room. So let's go on step event. And let's put down the, the main important code window set size. I'll just start putting down room width, room height. This is just simply the x and x and y of the room. So let's say we put down n times, put down n times each of them. N being a constant. So if n equals one, it'll be the exact same size in the on the screen as the room actually is. Or if it's two, it'll be double the size, and so forth. So let's define our n variable in the game. We'll have n equal one in the game, and let's um, go into our mouse uh, mouse wheel up event. So when we wheel up, we want the room size to increase. So we'll do n uh, times equals 1.1. This will make the room 1.1 times bigger because you're multiplying n by 1.1. Now for mouse wheel down, we'll, have, we'll do n times equals 0.9. So this is more or less the same concept. It'll just become 90% smaller between the time you scroll down. I don't think it's the same, exactly the same both ways, but you probably won't notice it very much. So now let's create our room. This 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 size will work. Backgrounds. And let's make the background stretch. Also very important, don't forget to add your object to the room. Okay, so here's our room. If I scroll down, you can see it gets smaller. If I scroll up, it gets bigger. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's the whole thing I wanted to say in this tutorial. Since that didn't take very long, all, long at all, I felt like I should show you something else. Um, there's another little function I step uh, um, figured out or found while I was trying to figure out how to do this. It's called window set position, and you can just say, let's say x y. This is a position on the screen that the window is at. So, um, as you can see, we we can't. Um, you can only set the values, you can't pull the values out and have it change on a regular basis. So let's make these abstract variables call x1, y1. Then go to creation event, define them. Let's put x1 equals 200 and y1 equals 200. We can say, so back here, we can put down if keyboard check. UK left. Sorry, I made a typo in check. Then x plus equals 50, let's say. No, sorry. For left, it's x minus. Right, so this is just a basic um, moving around four direction code. So let's copy that three times. Right to x plus. Do y minus for up, up, and go down. We'll do y plus. Let's do both those. Oh yeah, and these all need to be x one, not to otherwise we'll change the value of the 
object rather than the um, actual window position. All right, let's test it out again. So in my case, it shows up in the top right of the sc screen rather than the center because that happens to be 200, 200 is position for me. If I press right and or up, I can move it around just like that. So that's a pretty cool trick. I'm sure you can figure out some creative way to thing to do with that in your games. If I, and if I scroll up a little bit too. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so, well, I don't believe this took very long at all. So it's a lot shorter than my, any of my other tutorials. But thank you for watching. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, don't uh, don't hesitate to comment on the video or p PM me. You can also email me at an email that's found on my channel because that's probably subject to change. And let me see what else this was. Um, I believe that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.